What's going on, everybody? Hope our, today is Friday, uh, 28th. Hope everybody's having a good day. Well, a couple days ago, I put it in the shot right there. A couple days ago, my clutch went out. And I was loaded, so loaded with a load of pugs. So I had to take the pug, dump it, and then still drive the truck back to the shop. Uh, but it's been down for a couple days. We're just waiting to get time to put a new clutch in it, which I hope hope it's pretty soon because I'm gonna get it back. Today I'm driving Chuck's truck, one of the new ones, automatics. Um, but hopefully today we'll get a little bit of uh, video. It might not be, you know, something great, but we're gonna do something, you know. Maybe somebody do something crazy when we get on video. As long as it ain't me, right? But got my coffee, 54 cent cup of coffee, y'all. But uh, we're all filled up, we got the truck running, and I'll show you a few of the trucks whenever I head out here in just a second. I get to drive Chuck's truck today because he's gonna be in the low boy. Here's our low boy. They've been had to go move the crusher and get a big old trencher to go on this thing. They won't know if I want to drive it. I told him, no, I don't get paid enough to do all that. I drove this truck right here the other day, but it's got a big air leak on it and uh, the air conditioner went out. They finally got the air conditioner charged back up. Boy, it was a hot day that day. And around here, we got one of the orange ones. And then, there's gonna be the rest of them down this way. All right, here's some of the other ones that we got. Here's that purple one. I like that purple one. That's the one that I wanted. Uh, and right here is a hoss, and it's pretty when it's cleaned up. Right now, they're all nasty, all the rain and stuff we've been getting. And then there's one of the new ones right there, and then there's another new one right there. Now, they uh, they label these new ones as 24s. There's one, one like mine. There's one today that I'm gonna be driving. The other new one, yeah, they've labeled these as 24s, which I don't see how, because we got them so early in 23. But, oh, let's get up here. Got my lunchbox already in it. Dashes and everything look all different. Buttons, and PTOs and everything on it are all different. Heck. All right, y'all. Sitting in the truck, we had the crusher. Um, and uh, loader man ain't here yet. So, sitting here waiting until loader man gets here, then we can get loaded. Uh, today, I'm working kind of in shovel. Uh, I've been working in Murfreesboro. And uh, today, I'm hauling. Uh, some surge over. We're bu uh, building a new school over in Shovel, uh, close to the Walmart. Oh, let me straighten you up just a tad. All right, and so we're going to carry some stuff over there. They're trying to get that job done. Then uh, there's a flea market. Uh, beside McDonald's, there's a road. If uh, you live in Shovel, you know, they're building a new flea market right there that we're almost done with. And it's kind of tricky backing around in there, which I wish I could get some of that on video, but I had no Go GoPro set up and I even got my own truck. Eventually, I can get everything set up and learning how to use the GoPros, which I even started it, even though I got one. As far as getting them and better to get the software down and editing and all that good stuff. Uh, I'm gonna be working on my bike this weekend, tomorrow actually. Uh, probably gonna be an all day thing. I bought an S and S cam to go back in it, uh, S and S breather camshaft to go back. I mean, just all kind of stuff to go back in it. Hopefully, gonna get this bike fixed and then be able to do some videos on that. But I figured if I can, before we get started, I've already got the bike tore down 
uh, it's at a buddy's house, so what I'm gonna do is make it a little bit of video on that tomorrow just to show y'all what's kind of going on and then if it works and then what the issue was that I was having when I first bought the bike. See, I bought this bike and I've only got to drive it one, about one mile and then it's been down ever since. So it's been kind of aggravating, stressful on that especially if you buy something like that and you expect to be able to ride it and then you can't. And I'm hoping to be able to ride it back and forth to work, be able to save some money on gas. That, that would help right now. I just filled up my pickup this morning on the way to work. And I noticed gas has been jumping up. Uh, especially, it went up 20, 20 cents from last week and it cost me $70 to fill my little GMC up with a V6 stick shift. So, uh, hopefully everything is back right up, going back down maybe, but I don't know. But that right there should save me a lot of uh, gas money just to be able to ride that thing back and forth on pretty days. And I want to be able to get it fixed so I can enjoy it before cold weather gets here. Take the sandwich maker out, do some riding, and uh, you know, let's have some fun. But uh, we're gonna sit here and wait and uh, and then I might show you a little bit over there was where I've been already been pugging. The other day I was over there doing some pugging, which is kind of you know it's kind of hairy to get back in there. But most of the the hard stuff is already done. And I've uh, been in different trucks ever since mine went down, and that's where the flea market is where mine went down at. I pulled in the clutch just went out in a bad spot, but we got it all done, taken care of. So now just get the truck fixed, and I think. I think I have to help on that. I think they want me to, to help, so. Maybe having to wear some old clothes and then come in saying all day about putting a clutch in. I don't know, we'll find out. But if I do, I definitely don't have time to do a video on that because it's gonna be a big project. And I know uh, Chuck's gonna want in there and get in and knock it out. So, will not be no video on that. But any more ideas or videos that y'all wanna see, put down, uh, down you know, down in the uh, comment section. And I made a video last night on a third brake light, LED brake light for the GMC. Now they got them for the other vehicles too, but this, I, I was really impressed. I really do like this brake light. And I've been looking at them for a while and happened to got contacted to do a video on one. So I did, you know, and I really like it. So. Now I think next thing I'm gonna, I got another, something else on the way that it's for everybody that does any kind of trucking. And it's gonna be a very important video, I think. And I've been wanting to do a video on like this years, at least when I, as I first got started. Because uh, it's a carbon oxide. I know I'm probably saying it wrong, detector. Kind of hard work for me to say but also detects gas and other stuff and it's portable. You know, you can rather have it, have it snatched on you or or my thing of thinking is when it was sleep, whenever I was doing RV transport, sleeping it in my pickup all the time and it running. If I got some kind of leak and it got in there when I was asleep, then that could be a bad deal. You know, something you might not wake up. And I've always was, you know, wanting to get something to put in there to be able to set off alarms and alerts and everything to let me know if I was in danger. So this is something that I think would be great for anybody in truck, anybody that had to sleep in a vehicle when it's running, I think this is something that it's gonna be great. So I can't wait to get in and start doing a video on it. Well, I guess I'm gonna sit here and wait until I get loaded. All right, everybody, here's the bakery. Right over there is the bakery here in Murfreesboro. And this parking lot is what we're doing for them. This was nothing but dirt at one time. And I guess we're having to haul topsoil and filling all this in. And you gotta be careful though, there's a power line up above. Now they was wanting me to back into here and dump over the curb, but it, there ain't a whole lot of room between this thing and that to be able to wiggle in there and without making a big mess or breaking something. So I come off the road, I hope they like it, but they want a bunch more. So it's gonna be interesting for the rest of the day. And I wanna say that uh, uh, 
that David Cross has uh, the one that we done a uh, uh, done video on about his truck motor blowing up in that Ford. Well, I got a little clip and I'm gonna play right after this. And he got his truck back after waiting. Hey, David, Nick from Classic. Kind of just wanted to show you a video. So, got her all up and running. Everything's good to go. Um, gonna let it get hot. Check all the fluid levels. I gotta adjust the transmission as accordingly. I still gotta put the front bumper on. But, just kind of wanted to show you. Got it all up and running. Got all your stuff installed. So, probably tomorrow for pickup. I'm gonna let it get cold tonight and drive it again in the morning. Once I, I wanna put some pretty good miles on it. So, not too much longer, you'll have your truck back. All right, we got that dumped out. Now, put our seat belt on and get out of here. Let's move this mic. So I get a little noise, just dropped it. All right, but yeah, that was Davis Cross truck. That's the one that Steve Farmer towed back. We done a, a, the thing for the GoFundMe page on it. So, uh, I want to appreciate everybody that participated in the GoFundMe page and and uh, and helped out and everything. So that's always always good to, to see somebody get some help and back on their feet and all that. But I just want to show you all that little video. I am in Murfreesboro and I'm actually fixing to do a circle because I seen when I pulled out I run over a cone. One of ours, but I'm gonna go pick it up, straighten it up, so that way it don't look lonely. All flat and laying on the ground. Dang. But the good thing is we didn't bust the asphalt backing off the road. That was that's why they want me to I told them I could do it the way they wanted me to, but um but it would make a mess and they said they already know so they just didn't want me to bust the asphalt up so I guess on the next one maybe making a mess well anyway I guess we'll get out here and uh oh y'all want to see the cone that I, I flat all right y'all standing here waiting to get fuel it is 7:39 at night still got an hour drive home I've still got another 20 30 minutes before I get fuel I got three more in front of me so gonna get fuel gonna get out here i didn't get a lot of dumping and doing all that stuff today was kind of a crazy day so next time i'll try to get more of that and i guess i'll end this video and uh y'all be careful y'all be safe out there see you on the next one